Hello everyone and welcome back to Vilnius University Business School. We continue our series about global entrepreneurship monitor results and today we talk with Ayman Arandi about uh, his views on entrepreneurship and business development. Hello Ayman. Hello. So let's start from uh, probably the first question. Um, talking about entrepreneurship in general, we have a lot of opportunities, difficulties, we see them. And the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor shows that the fear to start a business actually is growing during the last 25 years. And um, what do you think um, for starting um, a business, uh, for the growth uh, of this determination of the fear which exists now in the entrepreneurial ecosystem, uh, why do you think we have it? Uh, why people feel like this? Why, why some businesses feel like this? Well, entrepreneurship is a human act like any other and it takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of commitment and time and it's uh, very normal uh, to be worried or um, um, hesitant about starting such a big and long journey at the same time the perception of entrepreneurship and building a business has been changing little by little which is also encouraging uh, more entrepreneurs into st stepping into this. Before taking on, uh, on such a journey, and that's what I tell my students usually, or the, uh, the uh, entrepreneurs whom I, I mentor, is to check for three things. The first one is within the entrepreneur the, himself or herself, what's the purpose? Why? Asking the question, why you're doing this? What is your goal of doing this? Is it, is it financial? Is it about something that you want to achieve? Is it something you want to prove? Or is it about change? So nailing the purpose is essential. The second part is the skill set. What skill set uh, do you acquire or do you have in order to run such a feat? Because building a business requires a versatile uh, different skills and capabilities and luckily now we have uh, universities and we have uh, uh, programs in order to equip these skills and the third is the resources that you have and surrounds you whether it's a human resource or financial resource or a time resource putting this together wrapping it with a good mindset and looking at the right opportunity is a good uh, way in order to assess whether to jump to do this move or, or to wait a little bit if you have it in mind, acquire more experience and then do it further. Okay. Thank you, Ayman. Um, and let us talk a little bit uh, about um, external factors in general. A decision to start a business might be influenced by what we have mentioned, just that, but also it might be influenced by thinking about possible targets of the business, looking at the whole ecosystem, maybe social environment, economic environment, demographic situation, and so on. Now the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor shows that uh, Lithuania is among top 10, actually, countries in the world. Um, and it's obvious that we are very, very much entrepreneurial. And in 2024, the last results, uh, which appeared a few weeks ago, showed that we are number four in the world, and we are very happy about it. Uh, but when looking at um, Lithuanians, and maybe not only Lithuanians, uh, maybe globally, because you have a very vivid experience, what do you think um, should be considered first when you look at the certain sector where you would like to start a business? Well, um, building a business is also a very connected to the environment that it takes place. So each country has a different opportunity or different um, advantage, edge over, the, uh, over another. So looking, and, uh, looking, for example, right now in, in Lithuania, which I believe this growth or uh, being ranked or which is a result of a lot of act, uh, activities, starting from how much the government is invest, investing in the last 10 or 20 years into, into a specific sector, 
how mature is the uh, is the ecosystem around the entrepreneurship, which consists of universities, um, uh, organizations that supports uh, entrepreneurs, along with policies that ease in and uh, the journey or ease in the start of getting into entrepreneurship. So back to the question, it's very important and vital to have a strong insight about the sector that you're getting into. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a make or break component for, uh, for any startup. Because at the end, what you're trying to do when you're building a business is spotting a good, an opportunity, spotting a problem that nobody have solved before, or you're trying to solve it in a better way. So in order to do that within a very competitive environment right now, around the world, around the business, global business, big business, uh, is to see this breakthrough inside that nobody else saw. So you, you have to at least spend some time within this sector, maybe work within an organization that works within, the sec uh, within that sector, and maybe have a bit of experience uh, uh, within uh, a startup itself. And, and, and let, me, let me finish by saying, based on, on stats, and, and, and a, a successful uh, entrepreneur is, is aged on, on average, and depending on different ecosystems, is around 47 years old. And that's for a reason, okay. because it requires a lot of experience within that specific sector that you want to work within. So thank you, Ayman. And we continue our discussion with Ayman in our next episode. Stay tuned.